Welcome! What is the easiest way to get a lot of semantic paste? Before we get into that, if you find this video useful, do not forget to subscribe. Now, what is semantic paste? What it is used for? And how many ways we can use to get it? But wait, I already know that. Dan, this is where you need to be. Are you still there? Good. Semantic paste is a common resource made from chitin, keratin and stone. Semantic paste is used to make advanced items and structures and it can be created in a mortar and pestle. This is the list of items that can be crafted with semantic paste. There are four ways of getting semantic paste. First, chitin, keratin with stone. Second, using a bezel buffo and insects. Third, giant beaver dams. Four, acatina. Plus, the easiest way related to that one. First way. Chitin, keratin with stone, made in a mortar and pestle. Let's make some CP. You need to be level 13 to learn the required engram, semantic paste engram. Mortar and pestle engram can be learned at level 6. You need a foundation for placing mortar and pestle. You can't place it on the ground. It shows what you need when you hover over it. Some stone from the beach. Left picture shows best way to farm chitin. And right one is which creatures drops them. As you are getting started, decent level raptor works well for trilobites. Raptors are pretty fast and they are powerful enough for this job. You can harvest trilobites with your raptor or you can use your metal pick. Hatchet works better, as it is shown in the previous picture, but just slightly better. There are other ways to get chitin. One of the most common way is Sabertooth and Chitin Cave. This is where the Chitin Cave is located. And this is the recommended equipment for this cave. But for this cave run, you need a decent quality armor and relatively high level saber tooth. This is not an easy way to get chitin when you don't have the good stuff. If you try this way without the needed things, this will happen. Moving on the best way to farm chitin and that is done by using a Megatherium. This creature is very powerful and best chitin farmer in the game. You can find this creature in the snow biome. You should go there if you want to tame one. Some honey and you are good to go. Same with the saber tooth method. All of these ways to get chitin and then cementing base is possible with a good base. As you can see here, Megatherium can get insane amount of chitin even on the beach with trilobites. Just a couple of them can give you 1300 chitin and that equals roughly 300 cementing paste. Saddle is 52 levels, you don't have to stay at the beach. Trilobites are easy way to get chitin, but they don't spawn in books. Not always anyway. Near the snow biome, you can find many scorpions. Even though there are other dangers in the area, with a megatherium it will make the trip worthwhile. But still, you might have to do some searching. Megatherium can fit in this island's cave. If the cave is not taken by a tribe and you are able to bring your Megatherium here, then you'll be living with thousands of chitin. You can get some chitin without entering the cave, but don't come here if you are not going to enter the cave. It will be too dangerous for a little reward.
I think this will be enough. We are mostly done with chitin. Let's not forget about keratin. Keratin drops from these creatures, but most of them are not easy kills or easily found. For early game, you can start with these dinos, Carbo, Stego, and Trike. For harvesting, try using one of these. This part might be unnecessary, very basic part of the game. You just need to avoid shooting the shell, that's all. And also move away, so you don't get hit. Eight keratin with a metal pick. Now let's hunt some trikes. Carbos and we barely got any karate. How about Stegos? Still not so much. What if we try the most efficient creatures? Keratin, maybe not this way. Before we are done with this, we should cover stone aspect 2. Arjun with a 62 level saddle. The Dekirus saddle is not needed. When it is half full, collecting will be stopped. You can ride the Dedecurus and get a lot more. Second way, using a Bezel Buffo to eat insects such as Meganuera and Titanomurma. For the level saddle, Meganuera is almost all over the map. For PV aspect, not too dangerous and not too safe locations. But most people will look for them near the swamp, which is very dangerous. Tatiana Murma is less common, maybe hard to find when you look for it. You still need a decent level Weasel Buffo for this to work without too much problems. I tried this way on official PvP once and never tried it again. Third way, by accessing giant beaver dams inventory. These locations are where giant beaver dams can be found. Pretty easy, 
Just go there, locate a bee with them, take what is in there, and move away quickly. Castorides will aggro on you once you open the inventory of a dam. Fourth way, by accessing an Akatina inventory after you tame it. And that is not an easy tame because of what Akatina eats. Sweet vegetable cakes requires a lot of ingredients. If you have a base, a farm, a beehive, and a tree sap tap, this might be the easiest way. Thousands of cementing paste in your base every day. But having all of these stuff makes this way not the easiest way and not even an easy way you can pick them up and put them in a corner they need to be wandering to produce cementing paste and they only eat sweet vegetable cake they might be glitched through railings you can put them in a wooden cage and set them to wander if you can get a dino leash that works too So, when are we seeing that the easiest way? Do you remember this? The easiest way was related to third way. It is actually pretty simple. All you need to do is just go there. One of the locations that Beaver Dam spawns and build a pillbox. But not too close to spawn locations. Better build stone. Bed for the spawning. Storage box for cementing paste. Make sure to finish the pillbox. Most people don't destroy pillboxes, but almost everyone will be taking your stuff if you left them out in the open. Then, just respawn there, collect as much as CP as you can. Later on, you can come back with your raft or with your dinos, collect thousands of CP and bring them back to your base. If your pillbox is hidden so well, you might lose it yourself. All right, it is right over there. Our pillbox filled with cementing paste, right? No, not really. It got raided. Most of the time, stone pillboxes will not get raided, but it doesn't mean never. Finally, you made it. Let's see the easiest way. Have you ever heard something called invisible storage? When I first saw One Wings video on YouTube, I was expecting an old bug or something of a clickbait. But it actually works. If they don't see it, they can't raid it. One foundation, pillar at the side, lowered once. And one more at the center, that makes two. Pick up the pillar, place the second foundation, lower twice. Place the third one, this side or the other side, as matter, place the pillar. Since there is no other snap point there, you can easily place it on the center and it will be lowered just once. Now, pick up the other one, the one that lowered two times, not the first one. We need that snap point. Since we want to place a bed, it needs to be three times lowered. Now, we can start placing bed here, you can rename it something like cement 1, another bed, cement 2, now place mortar and pestles, this can be difficult, we don't want anything showing from the outside, also we need to be able to access it, just at the edge of the foundation, not too easily done especially for the first time just place one and then on top place the foundation check it make sure it is good and then pick up the foundation it shows let's try again line up the next one little bit closer to the inside it is really nice we can pick up these days place the foundation it is good now we need to destroy this one. Are we done? No. If you leave it like this, each foundation acts like a single foundation. They don't cancel decay timers. You need to place two more foundations next to them. You can place another bed and more mortar and pestles if you want. Maybe you can be very quick and don't have to destroy the first foundation, but no need to hurry that much. Now we are done, two foundation, 
who would raise C4s or grenades on them. Of course, nothing is 100% safe, but let's see the official ones. It's been months on the official Conquest 81 server. My cementing page foundation stays intact. I have stopped playing here. As you can see the daytime. This is an old recording. Many days passed and no one raided them. They were still there. Why? I think there is a good reason why this works. When I saw One Wing's video and realized it was a real thing, I thought, now everyone knows about this. It will probably won't work, but it does. There are few reasons, I believe. First reason, not everyone knows about this. Just look at the video, not even 100k. It should be at least a million, but it is not. Every art player should know about this. But they don't. Second reason, there is so many foundation spammings all over the map. If you think people will destroy every single one of them just for some loot, you are wrong. So that's about it. You can use this method in your base too. I hate so many of my stuff from the raiders, you won't believe. That will be in the next video. But just make sure your hidden stuff is not on their way, like near a symmetry or a vault. Before I could finish the editing of this video, Conqueror's servers got wiped, so here is the official small tribe versions. Just keep moving, let me step back here. Alright, are we safe? Seems like it. Here you go, everything is intact. There it comes again. Let's go and check the other one. Before that, here is the server info. Small tribes 11. We have to go now. Invisible cementing paste storage number 2. Have you subscribed yet? No. 